own cup of Keats cacao. This is gonna give you all the tips you need to know to make the perfect cup of cacao that's actually gonna stay warm for a long amount of time and really give you the most benefits from your bar of Keats cacao. So I really like to use Keats cacao mainly because it's the best shit out there. I've tried a lot of different other brands and usually it's like super caffeinated or thin, greedy consistency, um, or you know, even if it doesn't have any of those like really negative things, it's usually a lot thinner and I don't have as many like deep um, meditative connected experiences with myself. So for the magical purposes and the actual physical serotonin boost that you're gonna get, go with this good stuff. All right, so when you get it, it's gonna come looking like this. This is a pound of the just milled cacao beans. Um, I also recommend getting the cacao paste and not the cacao beans because that's a whole different process of how to make cacao, a smooth cup of cacao from beans. It's really difficult, just get the paste. They've done all the work for you for no extra charge. So one of the first things that you notice is that with unpasteurized chocolate, because it doesn't go over the process of what's called tempering to make it not do this natural separation process, these lighter parts that you're seeing are actually, um, that's the cacao butter or cocoa butter as we know it um, widely. So this is just a sign that this is a natural, unpasteurized brick of cacao that is already undergoing its natural process of the the, the cacao butter is separating from the rest of the chocolate mass, but that is totally fine. So you're just gonna cut into it here. You're just gonna open it. And I, oh my gosh, just like the way this feels and the way it smells, like this is such a like really luxurious process. So this is how it looks here. So when you get your cacao, I recommend just going ahead and like cutting up the entire thing and storing it in a glass container like this, an airtight glass container. So that way you can actually um, preserve it for longer without it drying out. So as you can see also, like when you start to cut your cacao, the parts that have the, the cacao butter already starting to separate actually um, cuts even more easily starts to crumble automatically and there's no set like you know size that you have to cut it to just whatever size you need to get it to in order to fit into whatever your container is so even if you don't have um, an airtight container you can also just use a Ziploc bag as well that's what I started off using as well when I was getting into cacao so next you just want to get this into your container so you definitely want to make sure that you're doing this in a space where none of the little pieces are going to fall onto the floor. If you have doggies or kitties, this is um, really, really dangerous for them. So make sure you're doing your cacaoing responsibly. Some people ask me about like, you know, what makes cacao so magical and like, you know, how to activate their cacao and get the really good benefits out of it. My number one tip is to actually sing while you make the cacao. Um, you can sing, you can hum, you can play your favorite music and dance around to it. Like this is a plant medicine that really responds well to just like movement and expression, and being happy and just, you know, expressing yourself or even, you know, just emotion in general. If you're feeling sad and you're making yourself look up a cacao, like play a nice sad song that makes you feel removed. And also when it comes to storage, just remember not to refrigerate this because that'll create moisture and that is no bueno for the cacao. Most likely if you're watching this video, you're coming to one of my monthly cacao ceremonies or you're hosting one for yourself. So for a ceremonial dose, for one person, I would go about... Yeah, so this amount right here, that would be a ceremonial dose. Um, so about 1.5 to 2 ounces if you measure, measure this out. So yeah, that's a that's a really dang, really dang uh, serving right there. So again, of course, if you're using this more like a daily practice kind of way, I'd probably use half of that or maybe three quarters. So again, this is gonna be something that you wanna test on your own to see what your sensitivity is like. So next, 
So you've already heated some water here. And again, these cups I'm using are about six ounces each. And I'm just gonna again eye that amount um, with, the, with the water that I'm using. A really important thing and to note about the water that you use for cacao, you want to make sure that the water is hot but not boiling. If you make it, make your cacao with boiling water, it will come out bitter and you'll likely scorch a lot of those good properties yeah. um, with the, the theobromine and the endocannabinoids. Those are all gonna be scorched and it's not gonna taste good anyway. So when I say hot, it's like hot enough to leave your finger in for a while, but we like, oh, that's hot, but it's not boiling. So you wanna use that. So something else I also get um, questions about or something that I like, you know, see often and people message me and they say like, hey, like I tried to make the cacao and it didn't come out really well or it came out kind of lukewarm and weird. Usually it's because they've used a nut milk as a base. Um, so also with cacao, you don't want to use um, lactose. You don't want to use like cow's milk or anything like that because lactose actually prevents the uptake of the aromas. So it tastes good. We won't get a lot of that nice like euphoria that comes over your body we have that serotonin release from the aerobia it's really really fucking awesome so really important piece for the purpose of this also what i like to use is a bullet like a magic bullet or you know ninja bullet whatever type of um personal blender you have so right now i'm just putting the cacao first i'm gonna put all of my ingredients on top of this Starting off with some cinnamon. Gonna throw some salt in there. I like to do my shit real salty. Next, I'm going to use um, sweetener. So my preferred sweetener is maple syrup. I just pour in this as well. So I would say maybe for one serving, maybe like I would probably start off with two tablespoons and just go from there for your preferred taste of sweetness. This is where I put everything together. Um, I've already measured out the water, so it's about six ounces for each of these cups. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. So again, this water is hot, but it's not super hot. I'm actually gonna add a wee bit more water after I blend this a little bit because all of the ingredients in the cacao at the bottom is taking up a little bit of space. So, I'm just gonna put that on there. Another reason I like to use a blender, particularly a airtight blender like a Magic Bullet, is that it produces more froth. Pour and enjoy. With cacao it mixes well with all sorts of things so if you want to make a base of tea for example like chamomile tea or mint tea you can use that as your liquid base at this point you can also use um, cayenne pepper you can use maca powder anything else that you want to use to enhance your experience blends really well with cacao so often what i'll do for ceremonial purposes is also add cayenne because the cayenne is going to help that uptake of the theobromine even more so you get quicker to that serotonin kind of wave so if you'd like to dive deeper into this magic with cacao you can purchase using the link below this video and also you can find out how to join me for cacao ceremonies that i host every month on the first day of the new zodiac season